Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Escape from Tarkov with me, Unfluffy Bunny. Today we are going to be looking at a weapon that the entire Tarkov community has kind of all but forgotten. We're going to be looking at this gun right here, Vepper 209. Now this weapon is seriously a gun that nobody plays with. Um, most of the time if you're a scav and you get a kill, you're going to drop this and pick up whatever the other scav has. Uh, this gun gets zero play time. So I had the thought was, can we take this seemingly bad gun and make it work? Can we make the hated 209 meta? So that's what we're going to find out today. All right, so the biggest issue with this gun is not the gun itself. The gun has some amazing customization options with a few lacking. The issue with it is the ammo choices. There's only three and they're not good. Um, the ammo choices that we have are Geshka, FMJ, and EKO. On the screen right now, you're looking at the EKO. Penetration of 28, damage 65, armor damage 38, fragment chance 20%, recoil negative 15, accuracy 10, and a muzzle velocity of 770 milliseconds. This is the ammo that I chose to go with for this video. The reason is because of the penetration chance. Even against something as low as Paka, um, I was finding a lot of difficulties with the other two ammos actually killing somebody, pinning that ammo, unless I was just legging them or shooting them in the arms um, or going for headshots only, I was having a real issue killing anybody with the other two ammo choices. Um, that being said, it's still not good. So we had our work cut out for us. The second ammo choice that I would suggest is FMJ. Penetration of 20, damage 73, 36 armor damage, a fragment chance 25%, recoil though plus 10, accuracy 0, and a muzzle velocity of 580 milliseconds. Now, this is a good second choice. Um, you're talking about a, a little bit higher damage, 8 points higher. Um, penetration, 8 points points lower though so when I was using this I was finding that yeah when we were hitting flesh we were doing more damage the damage was spreading more but it still took a lot of bullets to kill people and it just didn't cut it like I said these ammo choices are bad so the last one that we have is Geshka Penetration of 14. It's one of the lowest pins in the game. Damage 80, super high. Armor damage 38. Fragment chance 45%. Recoil 0. Accuracy 0. Muzzle velocity of 550 milliseconds. Now, this is a great ammo. If nobody in Tarkov had armor, you're doing lots of flesh damage. It is absolutely destroying. But if you run into any kind of armor, I mean, even class two, like 3M scavs, we're just tanking this like it was nothing. So I don't suggest using this if you decide to try this and show me up. Like, I don't suggest it, but you make your own choice. All right, so how did we actually determine which ammo that we were going to use? We used an extremely scientific method to come up with this. No, I, I'm lying. It was not scientific at all, but it's what we had and it's what we worked with. Uh, what we did was we took each ammo and we fired it into a player's left arm, into that player wearing a paca, uh, into a kiver, 
into the Kiver's visor and into class four armor. And I have a spreadsheet with all of the numbers and it's just a lot of data to try to put into a video. But the reason we went with the EKO was because the EKO was the only one that when shot into a body limb or into armor did damage to that limb and spread damage to the other parts of the body. Now, by no means was this ammo extremely viable. Um, we did find that if we were going up against something with like class four armor, it would take 15 shots to actually kill said person. Um, 14 was when we got the trooper armor to a point where the armor, the ammo would actually start pinning. Um, so we really had our work cut out for us. All right, so now that we had the ammo chose, it was time for us to actually build the gun out. Now, the 209 is extremely customizable because it is an AK class weapon. It gets all of the AK class attachments with the exception of the muzzle. The only muzzle that can go on this is the Rotor 43 366 TKM muzzle break. Uh, there is no other option. You can get a thread protector, but but that has neither a positive or negative effect on the gun. So the first build we went with was a high tier build. Uh, this was using all of the best items that you could use for AK to get your ergonomics and your accuracy very low. Uh, the problem with this was it was 145,000 rubles in 200 USD. Like cost effective? Not at all, especially for the amount of damage that you were going to get. Luckily, a buddy of mine came up with a more budget-friendly build and allowed us to be competitive without wasting a lot of money. And that actually only ended up costing us about 700,000 rubles just over. Um, and with that, if you died, you weren't out a lot you weren't worried that okay this gun is not worth the amount of money that i'm putting into it because the base gun you can get for 20k and then from there you just need a couple of attachments to make it viable and that's exactly what we did so now we had our gun we had our ammo could we make it work? And that's where the real issue started to come up. Now, I am by no means the best Tarkov player. Uh, you can actually come to my stream every day and watch me and you will 100% see that I die way more than I get kills. Um, but what I was finding while using this weapon was we were getting into encounters that with any other weapon in this low tier budget would be competitive, would actually win. I mean, you take a look at a Vepra 136. I could build it the exact same way as this 209 and win a lot of the engage engagements that I was losing. Um, it was a very different play style than the way that I am used to playing because I found that what you had to do was take a couple of shots, reposition try to get a couple more shots reposition and keep doing that until the player died or even in some cases scavs um i ran into raiders on reserve i ran into scav bosses and their guards and in every situation i was just outmatched and outgunned no matter what i did it I just couldn't get this gun to be competitive. 
I would love for it to. I was really hoping to find a weapon that maybe with all of the new attachments that BSG had been including was kind of a slept on gun, but it's not. So, what is my final verdict after all of the testing, all of the runs that I did with the 366 ammo and the Vapor 209? It's not good. Um, I had a, a great time figuring this out, playing with it, running with it. Um, I had a lot of help from friends doing this. And it was extremely satisfying when you did get a kill i mean there were times where we ran into somebody who had a visor and i shot them once in the head and instantly dropped them um it was amazing because then it's like you get really good gear from that and you have that but if you ran into somebody wearing an alton or gen 4 or anything along those lines you just weren't going to be able to kill them and when there's so many other guns that are the exact same cost or even cheaper that can instantly put somebody down this just doesn't cut it um you're looking at like a mosin which you can buy for 40k with no sight use 7n1 which is very cheap ammo and put down pretty much anyone um if they're wearing a higher class armor throw s and b into it and you're still killing them uh yeah it's bolt action this is not it's semi-automatic so there are differences but the fact that i have to use 15 shots to kill somebody with class 4 where I can use a shot or two to kill somebody with the Mosin? Like, it's not good. Like, I keep saying that through this video. It's not good because that's what I found. And I hate it. Like, I really hate it because I wanted to like this. I wanted to enjoy this gun. Every time I loaded up Tarkov and went in, I was like, yes, today's going to be the day. We're going to get some great footage. We're going to kill some people. And most of my footage was me dying or spending lots of money trying to make this gun competitive. Um, so, yeah. It, no, we couldn't make this meta. I would love for somebody in the Tarkov community to actually come out and show me some clips of them using this and some of the amazing stuff that they did with it because I couldn't get anything to work with it. And there are much, much better players out there than I am. Um, but for my final note, this was recorded before the december update so we did get a new bolt action rifle that does take the 366 ammo also and i am going to try to use it but this ammo type is kind of the issue the and i hate to say that because the vpo 209 is suffering because of it um Ammo really does make the gun, and in Tarkov especially. So if you don't have a good ammo, you're not going to have a good gun, no matter what attachments you put on it. Um, but with that being said, I need to thank a couple of people that really helped me out. Uh, Sujin Gaming TV, uh, Doc Holiday, and Rogue, you guys... Thank you so much for all of the help while getting this video. And if you liked the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me a little notification and throw a comment down below. Uh, it really helps out the channel. And 
If you guys want to see more Tarkov content, come check me out. I'm hoping to load a video every single week with different guns that we're trying out, just doing runs, and kind of the same format. Um, I would be more than happy to hear any suggestions, what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you next time.